super special. Saturday's autotrader.com ultimate matchup was company priority Ryan Mallett against the LSU defense. Right before halftime, the priority up top hooks up with Kobe Hamilton for an 80-yard touchdown strike couple of defenders took each other out. Razorbacks led 21-14 at that point and hung on to win it 31-23. So Saturday's ultimate matchup pitting Ryan Mallett against himself this year. The priority has improved his completion percentage and passing yards per game while tying his passing touchdown total one less game. These are just some of the reasons why he has led the Razorbacks to a 10-1 season and perhaps a BCS bowl game. Miami has a new coach, Arkansas. They had a new coach a couple years ago. That's working out beautifully. The Mad Hatter. Remember when the Mad Hatter was under fire? Les Miles. All of a sudden, Les Miles is a hero. Ryan Mallett fires one in there to Kobe Hamilton, and here he goes. Only a legend could make this pass right on the money. It's a dart to the sidelines, and Kobe Hamilton takes it all the way 85 yards for the score. Who calls him a legend? Well, well he does. Oh, that's right. Arkansas 14-7. It's getting late in the first half. Stephen Ridley goes in. Tied at 14. Now six seconds to go. Six seconds. You just saw Mallet go to Kobe Hamilton for 85 yards. Lou, there's six seconds. Oh, you, you gotta stop him from going 80. This should never happen. Never in a hundred years should that ever happen. But you know what? It did happen, and that's why they play the game for the entire 60 minutes and not 59 minutes and 54 seconds. A couple of LSU players collided on that. Morris Claiborne collides with. Carnell Hatcher, as they were both trying to make a play on Hamilton. Claiborne was on the ground after a play. He eventually walked off under his own power, and Arkansas took the lead to the break. Now it's 21-20. Mallet again. It's time to Joe Adams. Okay, I may agree with Ryan Mallet. This is a legend throw right here. He gets enough air into the ball. What a perfect pass. Touchdown, Arkansas. Look at this stutter step move. Yeah, but it's a fourth and three. That's and true. Fourth and three. They either complete it or else LSU takes over. Under a minute to go. LSU down 31-23 down to one final drive. He fumbled to Jordan Jefferson. Woo! Pick Suet. 31-23. Arkansas wins its 10th game. Both teams now 10 and 2. And what this almost certainly did, I know things could go crazy, but this probably put Arkansas in a BCS game, most likely the Sugar Bowl if Auburn goes on to play for the national championship. And it was a huge landmark type of win for the Hogs. It definitely was. And for Bobby Petrino in this program, the way that Ryan Mallett stepped up, yes, he's the best throwing quarterback in the SEC and one in the nation, but he went up against the fourth best passing defense in the land and most likely the best cornerback in Patrick Peterson in the land. And what did he do? Threw for 320 yards, three touchdowns, made great decisions with the ball. Yes, he had the interceptions, but this is the game where the entire offense had to step up. And believe it or not, they're best wide receiver Greg Childs is not with his team he got injured a few weeks ago but Ryan Mallett stood up made plays for the Arkansas Razorbacks and I think this is the key if you want to go to a BCS game you've got to win like this at the end of the season you've got to have marquee talent they've got it I think that they're the team to go well the thing about Arkansas now number one Little Rock's a very difficult place to play. The second thing is they're now balanced football team. You have Davis, the running back, rushed for over 152 yards. But let me tell you for LSU, it's very difficult to win if you give up three touchdown passes, two of them over 80 yards. That should never happen. Once, maybe in a lifetime. Twice a game, no way. That is why LSU lost a football game. And those two 80-plus yard passes, one of 80 and one of 85, add those together, more yardage than LSU average giving up in an entire game passing. The average giving up a little over 150 yards per game, 165 on those two throws off the arm of the legend. It is time now to take a look at the four finalists for our Capital One Cup Impact Performance of the Week. Certainly, Torrey Smith had a huge impact in Maryland's victory over NC State, impactful enough that it knocked the pack out of the ACC championship game. 224 yards on 14 catches and four touchdowns in the 38-31 slam dunking of the Wolf Pack. And how about Hawaii's Alex Green? He only carried it 19 times but went for 327 yards in a 59-24 win against New Mexico State. I understand it was New Mexico State. 327 is a big number and very impactful on Hawaii, who had a great season in the WAC, only one conference loss. Kobe Hamilton, three receptions, 164 yards, two touchdown catches of 80-plus for Arkansas and their victory over LSU. How impactful was this for the Hogs and where they could wind up in the final rankings? Makes them a prime candidate for a BCS at-large spot. And Cameron Kenny, a huge impact for Oklahoma. They are likely 
headed to the Big 12 championship game, thanks in large part to a couple of touchdowns, 141 yards receiving for the fine wide receiver from Oklahoma. Here are the nominees for the Capital One Cup Impact Performances of the Week. Don't forget, Capital One Cup honors the best all-around athletics program at the highest level of college sports. You can log on to ESPN.com backslash Capital One Cup to cast your vote and keep up with how your teams are faring in the chase for the Capital One Cup. Here is the helmet sticker shirt. We sign it, we send it to the school as helmet sticker winners. It is a great thing to frame, put on the wall of your football facility. Who gets one, Mark? Arkansas wide receiver Kobe Hamilton, 164 yards receiving and two touchdowns in their victory over number five, LSU. And LSU, fifth in the country, still in the hunt for a BCS bowl bid at number 12, Arkansas. The battle for the golden boot. The Mad Hatter, Les Miles watching, second quarter, tied at seven. Third down, Arkansas from their own 15, Ryan Mallett to Kobe Hamilton. How's your gap? 85-yard hookups, 58th career touchdown pass from Mallett. That's a new school record. Later in the second, third and goal for LSU, Stephen Ridley breaking a tackle. Ridley, 75 yards on the ground, full extension. He had a couple touchdowns on the day. We're tied. Six seconds to go in the first half. Arkansas, Mallett to Hamilton again. Now Morris Claiborne colliding with Cornell Hatcher. Hamilton escapes. More yet. A lot more. 80 yards. Claiborne on the ground after the play. Another look at this collision as Hamilton slips through. The good news, Claiborne would walk off the field. And Arkansas feeling good at the break, up 21-14. Fourth quarter, it's 21-20, fourth and three, Malik. To Joe Adams, wide open. Joe Adams, 39 yards. Bobby Petrino said, on going for it, this team didn't come to paint, they came to win. Stutter step by Adams, the difference. Mallet, 320 yards, three touchdowns. Less than a minute left in the game. LSU down eight, Jordan Jefferson fumbles. Arkansas recovers, and they get the win at home, 31-23. They've now won six straight, and they're thinking BCS.